<laughs> to replay mode we go. Like, yeah, you lost Zay Jones. I don't really think anyone cares about that. Okay, so we have to get used to the new hub screen. Uh, not the kind of hub that would feature Deshaun Watson, but the hub that is new to Madden 22 franchise. We have Lonnie Johnson there. Fun story about Lonnie Johnson. Failed uh, transferring because he didn't spell his name right one time on a, on a test. That was the... Uh, that was the rumor that he had three ends in Lonnie, I think. I don't know, dude. I don't know what the actual truth to that is, but man, my brain doesn't work. That's, uh, that's un unfortunate. Couldn't even find that word. Uh, I've actually written a poem to commemorate uh, this event. It also should be noted that these are blue light glasses and do not help me read better at all. But here we go. We open up this episode on a somber note. We thought twas destiny to go back to back, but twas murder she wrote. Run the offense through Daniel was our great plan, but those stupid fucking Mormons massacred this great man. Utah, dude. And I think we're gonna try a field goal. Greg Hall says, no hall pass. Your ass is mine. <laughs> Oh, deep down the middle. Where's the safety help? T.Y. Hilton takes a knee in the end zone. I didn't even hear the national anthem. What's going on? I guess he's not as high overall as he usually is. Maybe I don't trade Michael Gallup. I mean, we do have Harry Potter to replace him. I'm a man of my word, even if my words are stupid. Oh, you look great. Double D's is what you're looking for. Always. <laughs> D-man and D-zone. They're fake plastic. This guy's pretty cool. Kevin Medrano, all the threes. That guy could be a basketball player. <laughs> that might be the uh, worst joke I've ever made. Like, I would hesitate to call that a joke. There's just, there's just nothing there. Okay, so maybe trading Sterling Shepard wasn't the best idea. Because now our second best receiver is Nico Bellic from GTA 4. Who is this? I'm about to choke on Chick-fil-A fries, not sponsored. Uh, is it is it Saturday today? It's Friday. Ooh. Get back the class, Larry Buckley, you little hooligan. Rolling out Minshew. It's Minshew Mania. Vanilla Vic. Merch. Link in the description. He fumbled. Teespring. Link in the description. Vanilla Vic. Minshew fucking sucks. Heron Henry go ahead and uh, breaks a tackle, falls forward. I slur my words because I uh, am a 75-year-old stroke victim. Oh, Bagel, you suck. Yeah, I guess I must. First of all, that, that, whatever that is, is a disaster that that coach is wearing. If we lose, and that's not even Nick Sirianni what he looks like, but that's who it is, I guess. If we lose to someone wearing that, we really don't deserve to be a team. That is the final kneel down. Fitting that Colin Kaepernick takes it. Can't make this shit up. Here we go. Alex Anzalone punches Kareem Hunt in the face. I would say he kicked him and it would have been an eye for an eye. But it was a punch. It was a punch. See how Kareem Hunt likes it. Hey, it's football, man. Don't look at my interceptions, please. That's good for a Jaguars. That's Dude, that's good for a Jaguars. And then he just stopped. The PA announcer got bored mid-sentence. It is Jaguars Dolphins, though. Can you blame them? D. Westbrook. That's good for a Jaguars. Yeah, they see, he refuses to say Jaguars first down. He just forgets. Did they accuse, uh, did they get a PA announcer with Alzheimer's? Hello? Hello. What are you up to? I am recording an episode of Jaguars Franchise, Healy6, YouTuber extraordinaire. What can I do you for? Oh. Uh, in 45 minutes when I'm done with this hellhole of a game. Oh, okay. You sound drunky. I'm not. I'm not. Lame. Goodbye. Right. Fournette up the middle. Gonna meet the safety. Says nice to meet you with his shoulder. More formal than a handshake, some would say. 
Although a little bit ruder, I would I would uh, surmise. You didn't think you'd be hearing surmise on a YouTube video today, man. What is wrong with me? I sound like I'm 90 years old. Eric Flowers and Eric Rowe. One of them spells their name uh, correctly. The other one, I don't ask me. I have no clue what their mom or dad or both were doing. The mom was probably involved a little bit because you know you gotta. It's not zero to sixteen or zero and sixteen to uh, you know sixteen and zero in one season. It's a little bit of a process, and I think we could probably end up doing it in like three, two or three. I said we're aiming for season four, but we might be able to fast track that and get there before. And the way we can do that is by you hitting that subscribe button. Yes, believe it or not, dude, hitting subscribe works. It'll affect the outcome of a pre-recorded video. I, crazy, right? It's like when your favorite YouTubers beg their young subscriber base to subscribe and they'll get a cookie. Imagine, an actual cookie for you. Whoa, holy. Of course, has some experience on offense. Played UCLA, uh, nope, played running back at UCLA. Yeah, he played UCLA running back. I'll tell you, what am I, Yoda? We gotta run. I saw square, I did. What are the odds that Jared Goff throws the ball accurately? He's Goffle. You like that one? I don't. He sucks. I want him off the team. <laughs> I want him gone. Whoa! That's a sack. Sounded like my first day in prison after that one. It's simply not possible to bring down Kareem Hunt. He's just... Just fucking tackle him. Oh, guess what, though? It doesn't matter. Because they're going to get a 7 or 8 yard plus run on the very next play. Just watch it. Watch it happen. I'm going to run commit up the middle. I'm selling out. It's a pass. You, uh, sometimes you gamble. We're going to allow a 99 yard, yard touchdown. That's, that's on me. I ran commit. wasn't a run. They actually passed from the one yard line on first down. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Uh-huh. For sure. All right. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. Yep. Uh-huh. 100%. You can't fire me. Coach Dangus is back. I cannot be fired. I'm like Hydra from the Marvel movies. You cut off one head, two more shall take its place. Gene Dangus is like energy and like matter. It cannot be created or destroyed. It only exists to coach the Detroit Lions. I mean, look at Jeff Okuda. He's like, oh, I'm talking about upper first down. Yeah, Jeff. Get out of here. I killed it. I don't, I don't know if this is going to be gross for you guys, but... On my hand, you can see that. Uh, disgusting. We're going deep. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. Tyrell Williams. Oh my god, he mounted him. Tyrell Williams, thanks for playing Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> he rode him like a horse. Tyrell Williams actually sat on top of his head. Just flung it up one on one. <laughs> oh my goodness, Tyrell Williams, that was disrespectful. Oh my god. We can never, ever, ever get the extra inches that we need. Yeah, I, I think that really it's me on and off the field as well. It was really the only play as uh, Sam Darnold tries to jerk off Patrick Queen for his great coverage. Get your hand out of there, Sam. Who's been drafted out of Hobart? Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't, how did I forget this, dude? Uh, Ali Marpet will become the first Hobart player to play in the NFL since Fred King in 1937. I should have known that. What, am I stupid? That's, uh, that's obvious. Fred King. Oh, come on. That's like, you know, thinking of famous bands and forgetting Milton Brunson and the Thompson Community Singers. Like, I, come on. Fred King? That's an obvious one, dude. How did I miss that? I want Kinney. I really do. Finney would be okay, too. It's Finney or Kinney. And we could probably win he. <laughs> Don't unsubscribe, please. It is what it is. We got a... It's not even Chauncey Gardner-Johnson anymore. Didn't he change his name to, like, CD's Nuts or something like that? What is his name now? This dude's name is not George Clinton. Oh, my goodness. For those not so familiar with George Clinton, this is him. Yeah, he's a lot of fun. Dude, I had the, just before recording this, I had the uh, Popeye's spicy chicken sandwich, and I had the um, the Mardi Gras mustard I added on top of it. Oh my god. This was amazing, but it's also like a little spicy in my throat right now, and we're struggling. 
I saw this channel. It's called Chelsea Lynn. And it was this, uh, this like, mukbang thing or whatever. And there's, like, rednecks eating food. And I was, like, watching the first, like, eight or nine minutes of this video with Daryl. And I'm like, I know it's a weird tangent, by the way. You have no idea what I'm talking about. But it was, like, so crazy the things they were saying. Like, is this even real? I looked into it. I don't think it is. But that's where I saw the Mardi Gras mustard thing. So I'm like, I'm going to Popeye's. Uh, and it was worth it. Not sponsored, I wish. But, uh, yeah, it's so good. It's it's worth not being able to speak right now. This guy, he's got a great last name. Tony Speed. Sounds like somebody that sells you cocaine uh, in a nightclub bathroom.